Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny Bryant, or I go by the Multiple Streams Queen on all platforms. Welcome to my channel where I am going to share all the goods, the good, the bad, the ugly about Airbnb, being a host, how to get started, uh, issues you might run into, and just all around tips and advice for you to be successful in the industry. Today, I want to talk about professional photos. Uh, you will hear a lot of different tips or tricks about photography. Um, and I just want to give my opinion, okay? You can take it, do whatever you want with it, but my opinion, right? Uh, so when it comes to professional photography, uh, when I did first begin my very first listing, uh, again, I think I share that story. Someone helped me with the very first one. Uh, and then thereafter, I was able to go and get more properties and list them myself. Um, the I will say <laughs> my second and third units, I did try to uh, take pictures on my own. I was looking right on YouTube, right? Uh, Google University and uh, trying to learn how to take photos and edit them so they can look professional. You know, get a ring camera, this light, that light, whatever. Let's just say it was like the ultimate fail. <laughs> uh, I'm not good at it, right? That's just me. I'm not good at trying to edit photos. That is not my ministry. That is not what I'm great in. And that is not my area of expertise. So, uh, the my second and uh, third unit, I did take some photos. My daughter kind of tried to help me edit them. Uh, we put them up. We listed them. The unit's still listed uh, or booked. But I, the quality was just bad right they you know it's just you can tell that they were not professional photos so long story short i did get a photographer to come in and to take real estate photos y'all and when i say the photos that the photographer took were amazing like i was like almost questioning whether or not it was the same dang on unit the angles and the shots and the way the light just hit things so perfectly was amazing you know uh his photos looked great I was so excited to, to put those photos up, and I really, really believe that that helped increase uh, the bookings that we did receive for those units. So from that point up until now and forever, uh, more than likely, I use photographers to take professional photos of my listings. Uh, again, you can do as you please. If you have the equipment and the, uh, the software to edit your photos, by all means, do that. I know for me, um, I will always use a photographer to help me to capture my units in the best light, right? Because what you have to remember is you, you got to know your market and know your competition, right? On us, I hate to say small, on this level, right? You have other Airbnb hosts that you are competing against, but on a higher scale, you're also competing against the hotels in a sense, right? And if they can spend money and get professional photos, you should do the same thing, right? I promise you, if you've ever been a guest on Airbnb, those professional photos, they just pop differently. They, they, they sell the space. Not only does the description and what you write about your space, but the pictures literally sell the space. Can you imagine taking pictures and the it's dark and it looks gloomy and whatever the case is? I don't know about you, but I know when I'm looking on Airbnb, even before I uh, got into the industry as a host, like if it looks dark and gloomy and I'm like, up oh, next, right? And what you have to understand is the psychology of people, the psychology of consumers. You have to capture people's attention. You have to capture their attention. You, and you only got a few seconds to do that. So if your first few photos are like, mm, nah, like, mm, I don't know, guess what? They're going to click out of your list and, and go to the next one. You only got a few seconds to capture their attention and keep them scrolling and keep them looking. So you got some people that are visual people. So those pictures mean the world to them. You got some people that are going to go through your list and they're going to read every single thing that you have on that list. And, and that's going to sell the space for them, right? But 
Both of them need to do it. Both of them need to do it. Your description and what you write and those pictures need to, to sell that space for you. So in my opinion, I like professional photos. If you are good at taking photos and you feel like you can edit them where they will look professional, by all means do it. But if you're not a pro at it, you don't have special equipment to do that, just, I promise y'all, it makes the world a difference. A photographer is anywhere between 75 and I think I, the most I've paid out of town is maybe 125. That is not a lot. That is essentially one night, right, for your unit. Do not lose bookings or potential bookings because you're trying to be cheap. This is your business, remember? So treat it like a business. Get some professional photos, please. It helps to sell your space. All right, guys, until next time, if you like the information that I'm sharing, you get any value from it, please subscribe to my channel and share with anybody else that wants to get into the Airbnb industry because I'm going to be dropping lots of gems on you guys um, every single week. All right, guys, have a good day.